I am Madhul Kumar sharing with you some videos on annuities. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for liking my videos and watching them consistently. Here is an excellent question from one of our subscribers and I hope solution of this will help many others. The question here is, Jeff is saving for his retirement 24 years from now by setting up a savings plan. He has set up a savings plan wherein he will deposit $120 at the end of every six months for the next 10 years. Interest is 11% compounded semi-annually. So it's an ordinary annuity. We are paying at the end of six months and interest is matching with it. How much money will be in his account on the date of his retirement? Part A. Part B is... How much will Jeff contribute? And C is, how much will be the interest? So that's a very important question and it's very practical. So let's try to understand this particular question. It says, Jeff is saving for his retirement 24 years from now. So let's say from now to this, it is 24 years, right? So 24 and this is now, we'll say zero. Now what he does was, he has set up a savings account whereas, wherein he will deposit $120 at the end of every 6 months for the next 10 years, not 24 years, for the next 10 years. So, so that means this is 20, that is just this much amount, right? So, so for the next 10 years, he is going to deposit $120. Interest is 11% compounded semi-annually. So on these deposits, the interest is 11% compounded annually. So I hope the question is clear. First part is to find the future value after 10 years and then the growth from 10 to 24 years. Do you see that? So in this particular case, we are working with two formulas. One is the future value. And then we have to get to this place with the compound interest. Correct? So, so that is how the money is going to grow. So when we talk about how much will Jeff contribute, it is his contributions are limited to just these 10 years. So we can answer this question first. Jeff is savings for his retirement from now by setting up a savings plan he has set up a savings plan where he deposits twelve hundred dollars so per month he deposits hundred and twenty dollars right at the end of six months for next ten years so in this case number of periods for which he has deposited is six months means was twice in a year right six months means twice a year right so let's try it on. Six months means two times a year. So if this is the first time, that is the second time. Year is done, right? So likewise, he will deposit 20 times, correct? So in this case, number of deposits for him will be two times 10, which is 20. Perfect. So therefore, from this itself, total contribution is how much is 120 times 20 which is 2400 dollars correct so so his contribution actually is 2400 all amounts are in dollars okay so when we are working we are working in dollars keep that in mind so we got this part now we need to figure out how much money will be in his account on the date of his retirement? So first we can apply the future value formula and find the amount after 10 years. Is that clear? So we'll do that part first. So let's find the future value. And uh, we know the uh, amount is this, N is this, that remains same, right? And rate of interest, let me write down here. It is going to be 11% compounded semi-annually. So that means 11 over 200 right so percent means 100 semi means two times correct so which is 0 0.055 correct so that becomes your interest rate 
So what is the future value formula? Future value formula is per month deposits times 1 plus i to the power of n minus 1 everything divided by i. Correct? So that is your future value formula. Now in this particular formula we know everything. We know 120 is PMT, 1 i we know is 0 0.0055. We know everything, right? So n we know is 20. So let's plug it in and find the answer. So we got 120 here. 1 plus 0 0.055 to the power of 20 minus 1 over 0 0.055. Let's calculate this answer. So we have 120 within brackets. So I'll just write 1.015. Is it okay? 1.055 bracket close. Actually, I should have put two brackets. Sorry for that. Oops. Okay, let's go back. So there are two brackets, right? Two brackets. That is kind of important. Otherwise, there will be an error, right? Okay. And here, power 20. And then we'll do negative 1. Bracket close. So we have closed both the brackets. And then we divide by 0 0.055 to get our answer, which is equal to 4184. Let me write down here. Let me write down here. 4184.198. So I'll write 20. Okay. So amounts will do cents two decimal places, right? So that is the future value of all this. After 10 years, this is the position when we are taking 10 years is that okay this is the amount in dollars in 10 years but the question here is how much money will be in his account on the date of retirement so that's critical so on the date of retirement and he is retiring when 20 years from now so this money is sitting here now so we at this stage have an amount of 4184.20 so this will shoot over a period of time how much we have got 14 years do you see that so now we will see how much it grows in this 14 years so that is the second part of this particular solution which is kind of critical to understand right so now what we have is a compound angle formula right so compound angle formula you can say the amount will be the principal amount P times 1 plus rate of interest. Let's say interest to the power of compounding periods N. Is that okay? So that becomes your amount after 14 years now. So in this particular case, N is equals to 14 years times it is semi-annually twice a month. So times 2 which gives us 28, right? The interest rate is remaining same which is 0 0.055 that is 11 divided by 200 right and the amount which is uh, the principal amount is this 4184.20 does it make sense to you so that is how we are going to work further on it correct so let's substitute these values and we say now the amount after 24 years that is at the time of retirement will be 4184.20 times 1.055 right to the power of 28 so i'm just plugging it on the values 28 correct and we'll find the answer i really don't want to go to the next page so we have 4184.20 within brackets we have 1.055 bracket close exponent is 14 years times 2 28 and that gives me a value which is 18736.20 perfect so how much amount will be there in the account will be this many dollars so let's write down this dollars here it will be 18736.20 that's a huge amount right so on a contribution which was for him 
uh, is paying $120, so $2,400. So on a contribution, how much did Jeff contribute? $2,400 only. So he contributed $2,400. And on $2,400, that is the huge amount which will be available at the time of retirement. So do you see the dynamics of this, right? Now it says how much will be the interest? So interest will be difference of these two. So we already have this amount of 18,000. Let's take away 2,400 from this particular thing. So we get our interest, which is 16,336. Let's write down. So, so interest is, let me write here. Interest will be 18,736.20, take away 2,400, right? And, uh, sorry. Yeah, 2400 is equal to 16336.20, right? So that becomes the interest earned. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. I hope it makes sense. All the values given here are in dollars, right? So let me add the dollar sign wherever it is not there, especially I forgot here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So on an investment of just 2,400, what he gets is 18,736, where the interest earned is 16,336. Good idea. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.